Hello, friends. The Tiny Tin is very, very compact. More compact than the Talon Mini. It's also very short, under five feet. This is the first Tinkara rod that I bought, and I don't recommend doing that. But we'll get into that later. So, let's get set up. Get out here on this creek here. Here. And try to catch something. Okay. To prevent any questions, you can see that my line looks odd. But I just tied a slip knot in the line to make it shorter. And I decided to put the other tail on the rod to keep it out of the way. We'll see how this works. So this rod being under five feet makes it kind of hard to cast to where you want to. It also makes it rather stiff. So the reason I don't recommend this is because it's... Oh, there was a fishy. That looked like a chub, though. The reason I don't recommend it is because it's so stiff. You don't... Well, I don't recommend it as a first rod. We'll go with that. As a first rod, it is awful. As a rod to just have, it's not bad. It's a chub, isn't it? Aren't you a chub? Yes, you're a chub. If you have a creek in your yard that just so happens to be filled with sunfish, it's good for that. You can bow an arrow into the only large pool in your creek and catch some sunfish, which is fun. If you're coming out to do actual fishing like this, this isn't so fun. I think I'm actually going to make this line a bit longer. See, the rod's like, what, 4'11"? I've got maybe six feet on here. Now it bow and arrow casts. Superb! And that's its only good feature. Other than the fact that you can stick it in any pocket you ever want to. I guess that's a good feature, too. Okay, that's probably more like seven, seven and a half feet now. But the lines have to be short. You don't really get to cast where you want. I've caught a trout. I don't know where my net is. <laughs> All right. Looks like a, a stalker, maybe. But regardless. So... That, it, it flexes well when that you have a reasonably sized fish on. Uh, little fish, I mean, you barely feel them at all. This guy's what? Eight, nine inches? Yeah, little nine inch guy. Uh, but it's hard to cast because it's so stiff, unless you're bow and arrow casting. If you put an extra long line, look at that guy. If you put an extra long line on it, it does make it a little easier. But, because the rod's so short, it then is harder to land the fish. You know, pros and cons. That's what we're looking at here. It is a less expensive rod, but I would spend the extra money on the Tiny Tin 2 myself. I got that one for my dad. He actually just recently caught, a, caught his first trout on it. The Tiny Tin 2 is longer, it casts better, and it's only slightly less compact. So you're not really sacrificing a lot of the mobility to get a longer rod. If I were just going to carry around a rod whilst hiking, not knowing if there would even be good water around, this is probably one that I would carry. Whereas the Talon Mini being 10 feet limits you. This limits you in the other direction, but you can still lengthen the line. You know, you can't really like choke up on your Tenkara rod. Since this rod's so stiff, you don't have any trouble pulling in a larger fish like that one that I just got. That's kind of nice, but I'm, I'm pretty surprised that I managed to even get a fish this quickly on this rod. Since you have to get so terribly close to everything, you feel the line without any flex. Like it is just, it's more like a whip than it is a rod. It's just, it's just a handle effectively on your line until you get a fish on. When you get a fish on, it changes its characteristics a little bit. 
yeah, very hard to cast this rod well. You're more just slapping your line into the water. Oh, I didn't tell you what fly I'm using. That comes up a lot. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, it's red and it has a black wire. I'm, I'm not a technical term kind of guy. It's a red fly. Okay. You feel like you should be more stealthful with this rod, but I just don't do that. Stuff like this right here that I don't typically get to fish is this rod's forte. Being so short, <laughs> you can get under a lot of this stuff. And there wasn't anything there. I guess technically I've really caught two fish, so I'd hate to end it there, but if I have to. Oh, that's a snake. I thought there was a dang stick in the water, but it's a snake. You see it right there? I assume that was a chub. Another chub. Oh, got a chub and my shorts. Plenty of chubs. Into the water with you. Another little chub. Well, after much frustration due to all of the fish spooking, <clears throat> I think we're gonna call it. Got a lot of chubs, but that one trout, to me, was enough to show what that rod is like. Got a little bit of flex with a bigger fish. You're not gonna catch a lot of bigger fish unless they're like all in a hole that's the size of your hand and they're all 15 inches and fighting for food. It's not a good first rod. It's not a good ninth rod. It's a rod that I only really use in my backyard, in a pool that's the size of this rock. And it's catching sunfish, and that's, that's really pretty much it. Don't waste the money on it. Get the Tiny Tin too, if you're gonna get a tiny Tenkara rod. I think there's a bug on my eye or a spider web. But thanks for joining me. This is really itchy. And you'll see me in the next one. I don't know if it'll be a rod review because this is the last one in my possession currently. So, bye.